So this is the lesson on Django Reinhardt's Nuage, French word for clouds. And it's a very dreamy-like song, well this version anyway, because there are a zillion versions of it. I think every jazz man uh, plays it and the more complicated the better they think. Anyway, this is Django Reinhardt's version and uh, you'll find more information in the video description of the performance video. And, well, let's play it. These are my E's. Close the window a bit. And so, it's played very freely, so uh, you can uh, adapt according to your own feelings, uh, this song. And I play it, well, in different tempo uh, every time, and I think the longer I play it, the slower I play it. So you can really play it really slow and then the fast runs won't be that difficult. So let's start with the first uh, four bars. Oh yeah, I'm playing this with a tongue pick and I think um, this gives you the best sound to play that kind of music uh, because Django Reinhardt played with a very thick flat pick. Uh, all those uh, gypsy jazz players, by the way, and um, that gives them a very distinctive sound. They also play it close to the bridge often. So, here we go. Sorry, one more. So we're starting on the second string, F minor ninth, it's a D7 position but with the pinky on the third fret, and we're going down, and then a, well it's a C9 uh, chord, um, moved up the fret, so you, I, I do it like this, some people do it like this, uh, so the third finger Covered the first three strings and then the index, the fourth string, and the thumb, perhaps the two strings like that. So I'm really playing like, like an arpeggio. Then I move my index to the third fret, second string, and move down the chord, G minor seven, uh, second fret, third, third, third. Play that with the fingers like that. Then we're going to an uh, F minor chord. So I'm strumming down. Moving the pinky to the third fret, third string. And then back to that chord. All right, the next couple of phrases. So we were at that F minor chord. I strum down with the tap. And play that also with the tap, those individual string notes. Same as before, but then with chords. That uh, F minor 9 chord, D7 with the pinky on the third fret. And the first time I play the D flat 9 again very hot. And then softly. So after the soft D flat 9, pinky, uh, sorry, the index again, the third fret, and then going down. F chord. And here we're starting with, well that bar is rhythmic, uh, it's not free. So the F, move the, in the third finger to get a D. Then a C7 shape and I grab it like this, not like this, like this because it's easier for the next chords. Moving up to the 6th fret and moving down F minor and it's the same chord moved down but the index moves another fret. Alright. Ok, 
okay, also with the temp, and then also the first string with the temp, and then the G minor in the 10 bar, I already play that with the, with the index making the bar, and then an arpeggio of G minor 9, so you add simply the 3rd and the 4th finger to the 5th fret, 4th and 5th string, and arpeggio down with the temp, one, two, three, four. then the index, pinky, 3rd finger on the 5th fret, and sliding to the 8th fret. Django plays his lightning fast, but it's, it's slow, it sounds good too. Sometimes play that alternating. Let it ring and slide down. So that phrase again. Again, that phrase. Eleven bar. Slide to the 8th and 9th fret on the 2nd and the 3rd string. Six, five, And again, back to the 6th and 7th frets. And then I'm adding the pinky to the 4th string. So I don't have to fret it differently. So. And I at dynamics errors. I start softly and then a bit harder. 13 bar, the D chord. So again. And that third fret, uh, second string already played with the bar. the third finger to the fourth fret and the pinky goes to the fifth fret, second string. Move the whole thing up and add the third finger to the third fret, sorry, fourth fret, third string. So we have that uh, G chord, pinky, fifth fret, and slide to the eighth fret. And while in the tap, it's 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 played like this. And I think in a performance video I did it as I played it in a tap, but now I play it differently. I just hang in there and then play the full chord to C minor. Tap is very clear for these chords, so I'm not going to play it, explain every finger. Right? But I play that really hard. And very uh, staccato, where the sounds are short and forceful. Then again, our team. And you can do, I think I did. Like in the first uh, bar, you can change around that. Again, our D flat 9, and here I'm doing a, a flamenco trick. So I'm strumming down with the temp, the first, well, the bass string, 6, 5, 4, then the index, the third string, the second finger, the second str uh, string, and then the first. Uh, the third finger, the first string, and I'm not picking it individually, but I'm striding upwards. So I'm, if you make it one move, it's like a, a ripple in the water, like a wave. And then... So those are repeats, but different right hand of the first phrase. 
uh, once more. Keep that short. And here I'm moving up with the. Uh, I played it as as in a tab, but I would rather do. So we were at that uh, 20th bar. Sorry. And then again, in the performance video I played, I didn't stop here, but I, I kind of like it now. And then that R G, uh, oh, sorry, R, R C nine form up to the ninth fret, but not with the thumb this time, just like this. seven chords like this seven eight seven and the temp the eighth fret move the pinky to the tenth fret again that phrase note the I'm really keeping it short there. It's the same form as before here. Uh, move the up, of course. Move it down and bring it closer together. And then seventh fret, uh, fourth and fifth, uh, sorry, third and fourth string and the temp. Longer than the tap suggests. And then our G minor chord moved up to the sixth fret, well, bar at the sixth fret. Sorry. Again, that arpeggio. Six, eight, the pinky, then the fifth string, uh, fifth fret, first string. You have to, well, work on this a bit because this, it doesn't sound uh, coherent with the previous uh, run, but if you do it, well, all at once, well, close together. Sounds better than that. Again. Again, that phrase. Really vibrato here, and then C7, and then F minor, rather difficult chords. And I played pinky, third finger, second finger, no, sorry, second finger on the third string, second fret, and the second finger between the fourth and fifth strings, so I can fret them both. If you're not able to do that, then forget the fourth string and, and do it like this. And the, the arpeggio is very soft. So. And then hard again. Again, that last 
last phrase. All with the temp. Again the fourth fret, grabbing the chords in one time. Our C9 form moved up to the 6th fret. So, there you go for new Azure.